Hello everybody. Uh, I have a, this uh, Excel file has two sheets, sheet one and sheet two. Uh, and in this video, I will show you how to print specific sheets and let the user to choose the location of the PDF file. So uh, let's go to the code. So this is the code I have here. Uh, I did define the sub and I end it here. The sub I call it print PDF button. So the file that here I define the dialog, uh, file save application sheet. So here we can choose whatever sheets we want. I only I, I only choose sheet one and sheet two, and then this is very important here minus one. So you can choose the location of the final BD if you want, and then active sheet. Uh, you can just copy paste this one. Here, if you don't want the PDF to appear after you convert it, you can make this false. If you want the PDF to be shown after you convert it to PDF, you will just leave it as a true. Let's try this. So here I, I assigned the macro that I created uh, to this button. So I just created print PDF button. So I assign it here. And let me click on it now. So now it, it lets you choose where do you want to save it so let, let's uh, keep it on the documents and give it a name for example bdf files save so you see now i have the the, the code open the bdf the final bdf fi files for me and i can review it now if you don't want uh, this extra step you can just uh, go here to the code and make this false okay uh, another uh, quick uh, tip I want to mention here is the how I create this button. Basically, I just go to uh, I just came here shape and I just did this one here, no outlines, and then I came to gradient. I choose this one, then click on control, mouse, left click, and drag it, leave it and then shift again change the size and then change the gradient this one and then put it on the top of each other then choose the first and the second one and then group it together and then you have a button if you want to add the text you just click here text for example pdf files or anything you want and then put it in the middle so this is was very straightforward i looked into in the internet too much to find a code actually to do this and most of the videos i saw on youtube and other uh, websites they define the path but in this code actually you don't need to define the path because the user will choose the path of the final bdf locations based on the window dialog and this is actually it's very good it's more practical and more faster than uh, uh, by writing the path of the BDF file because it may work here but it may work in uh, different computers if you have different names and different folders thank you so much for watching